Not a lot of room up here for you to see, but this is where it go, will go on the uh, finished product. This is the uh, lens for the position light. Be a white, just a white light bulb underneath, and the green, the green lens makes it green. Okay. So, uh, references for today: Tony Benjellis's big blue book, of course. Also, uh, one that never made it into the book, it's from March 1988, Sport Ave, is an uh, article by him on stretch forming fiber or plexiglass parts. Has some interesting stories in here about how he tried to do it with Lexan and then later figured out he should have used plexiglass. So, what, what are uh, Lexan and plexiglass? Actually, yeah, we need to get this started up. So. Uh, First off, the green plexiglass comes like this with the uh, paper on either side. I need a paper peeler. Where'd you buy Anybody want to volunteer to peel this paper? It's coming up. Oh, All right, Lane is, uh, Lane is peeling the paper. How do you spell the last name? Oh, wait, H-A-U-B-D-L-C. Okay, so you got basically two Jones. kinds of plastics to Jones deal with. Uh, one is plexiglass. <laughs> With plexiglass is a trade name for acrylic, uh, and then there's Lexan, which is a trade name for polycarbonate. The nice things about uh, plexiglass is that it's uh, easy to form using heat. Uh, downside, it scratches fairly easy, uh, and it's re but also it's reasonably resistant to uh, petroleum products like fuel. One of my side windows are going to be where you open them up and they'll be right underneath the fuel drain for the tank. So any drips or something out there. I originally thought about using Lexan there. I'm going to use plexiglass because Lexan, you get some fuel on it and it crazes like mad. By like crazing, that's basically cracks. Little bitty cracks that just clouds the whole surface. But where do you get it? Well, if you just want clear, you got a lot of choices. You can get it straight from aircraft spruce in several different thicknesses, but only clear, smoked, or green. And I'm not sure about that green. I think it's opaque, but I can't be sure. Okay, jumping ahead. Handles. I pre-drilled this. You'll note the hole is much bigger than the bolt. The reason for that is that plexiglass expands and contracts at very different rates from uh, from wood, metal, uh, fiberglass, and everything else. We could make a profit at this. We bought the entire four by eight sheet, cut it up, had all of you guys come and watch us do it, and you you know sign up for your sheets right here. You sell them at an absorbent price, right? <laughs> but uh, it didn't go over. Yeah, I wasn't real interested in paying. Another that million much. dollar idea, shot yeah. the hell. So. Uh, Anyway, so the sign shops wasn't going to really work. If you just want clear, Home Depot will sell you a clear, but it's in kind of odd thicknesses. For you know, they're not. It's like 0.09 and 0.2, no real usual dimensions. Anyway, so where did I end up getting this? The power of the internet. Went searching one day, found a uh, it's a little craft shop for uh, dealing with scroll saws projects and so forth. They're saying most anything you do in wood, you can do in plastic. So they sell plastic in all sorts of colors: clear, uh, transparent, you know, red, green, yellow, blue, orange. Pick your color. Same thing in opaque. They also sell it mirrored, which I have some of, for uh, which will be the on the back side of the light to get more of the light out. But. Uh, the only downside there is the size you see here is the only size they sell. It says so right there on the website. It's the only one we deal in. So or it's like, paid by the 4 by 8 sheets. Paid, paid by the 4 by 8 sheets because the piece of paper we just pulled off, you, it has the dimensions. All of those colors and you just stuck with the common ones. 
Yeah. Why well, you know, it, it's an FAA thing. You know. I thought it came from both. Is there a specification for how bright the light has to be through the? I mean, there the may be. There may FAA be, is. but you'd be hard pressed to find it. Uh, it's in, in the, the spruce, spruce catalog. Yeah, in the spruce catalog. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a page that describes all that stuff. No, I'm not sure, but uh, there are there are requirements for uh, what angles it's visible from. Stuff into the oven. You'll note in the oven a sheet of aluminum here. Uh, basically, that's there because once it starts heating up, it's going to sag down. And if it's if it was resting on the oven grate. Uh, or on the oven yeah. rack, then it would it would heat uh, It'd be unevenly. Yeah. It, it heat <laughs> unevenly, and you would actually see that in the final product. So this way, yeah, it it droops, but it all droops onto the same thing. So it's going to stay uh, blades all going one direction, not back and forth. Uh, they click the Sloan's people claim on their website that you can use a scroll saw with a skip tooth blade and other things, but I've done it before many, many years ago. What I found was that constant back and forth tended to heat up the plastic and it melted back into the groove <laughs> behind it so it was wow. still attached. But with the uh, band saw, uh, it's worked really well. Saber saw I would avoid. You know, that's the handheld thing with the stiff blade that just goes up and down because that'll probably vibrate it so much that it'll cause problems. Cutting wheels are an all-time favorite. You know, cutting wheels, something like this, or a larger one on a die grinder, uh, used for cutting anything that's not straight. Uh, when, whenever it comes time to fit the uh, windshield, you know, I'll need to use one of these to cut with. Another option, if you're just cutting a straight line, you can buy a tool that just scores a big groove in it, like you're doing drywall or something. Score a groove, snap it in half. Uh, in any of these cases, when you make the cut, you're going to have to get the edges smooth. You can see on uh, this one, I've, I've filed it and sanded it down smooth. Also, you can get tools like this. This is just a scraper. It's got three choices of uh, shapes. And you just pull that along the edge and it'll scrape it down smooth. Feel free. Be sure it's at least, you know, room temperature at least as warm as we are here or warmer. Uh, when we get over to Vince's, you can ask him about doing his canopy. He actually, it was kind of cool that day, but he'd had it sitting out in the sun and it ended up getting uh, pretty hot anyway. Okay. How do you, <coughs> that's for cutting it. How do you drill it? Well, you drill it with a drill bit. So this is not just any drill bit, okay? You can go into the spruce catalog and, or Avery and buy the plastic drill bits, or you can buy, buy one and look at it and find out what's going on and make your own. The issue is on a standard drill bit, you have a cutting edge that cuts into the plastic about like that, or cuts into the material about like that. That will dig into the plastic. What you want is a scraping action of basically a vertical edge. And if you look at this one, you can see that basically it's just this edge here has been ground down some to, uh, so it does a scraping motion and it works great, just right through. When we form it down, remember this is coming on at 350 degrees, something, either the primer or the stuff under it or something, I'm guessing started letting out some sort of gas and it ended up getting trapped and it created a bubble under there. Using the fabric allows any of those gases to have a chance to escape without messing up your, uh, your part.